Hello there. So my internet is out and I'm dying. <laughs> I don't know how I'm alive. Uh, but I guess we're going to do a crab vlog today. Woo! <laughs> Back to the unicorn horns, which I started in the last vlog. I'm going to update you on those guys. These three that are completed. I have this one and it's glazed. I just ran out of chain for it. Then I have all of these. Um, these ones need starry for the nest. Please ignore it. Um, these are ones that I glazed last time, but I noticed there were a few, whoa, you can't even see it. I noticed there were a few spots that didn't get completely glazed, as you can see right there. Um, so I'm going to be just touching on those areas and then glazing the few that didn't have a chance to. Uh, yep. The weather has been crappy all week. It's been raining off and on, storming, so I haven't been able to finish uh, the letting these charms cure in the sunlight. Except today is really nice out, Woo! so I'm going to do that today. I'm so happy because it's my day off that I have the chance to because the other ones that I have finished, I glazed before I went into work and let cure before I went into work, but now I can just finish all of them. They are finally curing the sunlight so bright i hope this is good enough because we have trees in the front yard in the backyard so this is the best i can do now while that is curing i actually need to do a lot of cleaning <laughs> so i'm gonna do that i might make some hot tea that sounds pretty good doesn't it mm. did you take my chair did you how am i supposed to do anything without a chair hmm? went to check them out and my elves box has come which is the Sophie and Toffee subscription box a crafting subscription box so I got that which is exciting and motivating it came with epoxy resin that you mix which I've never used before so I'm kind of scared to use that but um, if you want me to do like a little video unboxing of that let me know I'll give you a quick little glance at what came in it so it is the elves box and it came with a lot of cute little things to put inside of shaker molds. Um, there's some findings in this bag, a glitters, we got two molds this time and these are larger ones. Came with some resin dye, uh, certain stickers are in here, um, some oil, and this is the epoxy resin. But I am really hungry, so I want to try to eat. I had mopped the floor, so I've been waiting around for the floor to dry. <laughs> I think it should be good now. Yeah, time to make some food. Mm. Ooh, I need to check on my charms. They've been outside for a couple hours now. I kind of forgot about them. <laughs> I am completely out of cat ear headbands, so I want to work on... Restocking those and cutting the little ear pattern out of this material. I love how just it's so beautiful. I went to Michael's after work and I picked up some chain so I can finally finish these unicorn necklaces. I got this chain, which is just, you know, silver. And then I got this gold chain that I really like. I wish I had that kind on these so I could get more. Whoa. And then I also picked up these beads. I thought they would look really cute with resin charms when I actually make some. I have cut out 28, I believe, of these little cat ears, and I just finished cutting all the lace trim for them. I also finished putting all the little unicorn horns on a chain, so these are up and ready. I have assembled the ears, and all I have left to do is to attach them to headbands, which I do. Um, so like hand sew them onto headbands because I feel like that works the best with these types of ears. Here's how the cat ears turned out. I love them so much. I think they're so cute. This is my charm board that I got, um, I think convention before last. And I just pinned my charms to display them better so people can see how they look. Um, but I really want to paint this white, I'm thinking, of painting the frame white, 
or some kind of pastel color that'll, you know, go with the rest of my stuff better. Um, but I'm going to be redoing my charm soon. I might make a separate video on that explaining why. But yeah, I want to paint this white. So I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do it this convention, but next convention I probably will. And I'm thinking of just putting all my charms in this for this convention instead since I do really want to redo this and upgrade my charms. Um, and this is just really easy. If you need something super cheap, go to like the dollar store or dollar general or somewhere like that. And you can get like this little vegetable tray for like a dollar and sort buttons and charms and things like that in there. And it's clear and so it'll match everything. <laughs> Um, and this is like one of the first things I used to display stuff at my first convention, so. Here's how it looks once it's sorted like this in this little tray instead, which I think still looks good, um, because you can visibly, you can clearly see everything, and it's all sorted nicely, and people are able to interact with it more this way, um, and touch them, look at them, and see how they are and stuff like that. Really see details better when they are able to play with them. I completely forgot about these bows. I took them to my last convention to make and I started making them. Then when I got there I realized that I didn't have the ribbon with me to put on the middle bit. So I have these that I can finish for this convention and I just have to add the clips and the the ribbon on the middle and I'll be done with these. So that's that's pretty awesome that these are already like half made. <laughs> it took me forever to find these little jars shaped like this. I had been using a different brand before and apparently those never are in stock anymore or they just got rid of them, I'm not sure. But I finally found some so I am going to be restocking my wish bottle necklace. Just finished making the necklaces and this is how they look for the wish collector necklaces. I do want to make a couple more chokers so I am going to pre-cut some ribbon. That way it will be ready and if I have the time I'll be able to make them. If not, they will already be half prepped for my next convention. So I'm just going to work on finishing that stuff up that I was showing you and then I need to pack everything up for the convention. So anything else that I do will be off camera. That way I can try to get this vlog up before like maybe tonight or tomorrow morning but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have an amazing day bye